we go. Much better than yesterday. Check this out. It's 72 degrees now at uh, 9.57 in the morning. Perfect day. Windows down. A uh, couple of little clouds up there. Not too bad. Two classes today. College writing and psychology. I already have the book for psychology on the iPad, which is in my trunk right now. So that's good news. Today should be a short day. And uh, I will be done at 1.45 in just a few hours. So... I don't know if I'll film anything else between now and then, but I'll talk to you soon, alright? Goodbye. Holy shit, bud. You got an issue with your Toyota? Man, that thing's really choochin'. Something's terribly wrong with that Avalon. Watch this. Hit the gas. Man. And it stinks, too. I gotta get around this piece of crap. We got a little, uh, I think it's an Alpha. Looks like it's a little tuned. We've got quad exhaust on it. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's Chuchin too. Not bad. Beautiful afternoon to you. It's about uh, 10 of 3 here Tuesday. And really cleared up today. It's gorgeous. About 80, 82 degrees. This car said 79. Can't hear. It's about 80 something. Uh, very comfortable. Light wind. And uh, yesterday's torrential downpour for the entire day made this happen. Look how freaking green everything is. It is beautiful. You really needed that rain. Uh, you know, sometimes in the fall, it's not fall yet. I consider this uh, late summer, even mid-late summer. We get nicer weather longer now than we used to. But if we don't get rain in those mid-last weeks of August and September, then we can have a really early fall in mid-September and all the leaves turn color and fall. And I hope we get another one of those rains in a little bit to keep everything green and healthy and on the trees. But anyways, I am going to trim and mow here because it's looking a little scraggly. Um, all of the other lawns shot up a little bit. I can tell that one's going to be ready um, very soon in the next few days along with the one over there. So uh, really I've got five to do this week and I'll get mine done today. And then I mentioned yesterday I wanted to clean the car up with that in-between wash thing since it rained yesterday. The Zeno stuff on the the cabinet in there so I think I'm gonna do that it's really the back bumper and the trunk lid that looks like hell when it gets wet because the wheels throw all the crap up there uh, everything else isn't too bad but I think I'm gonna go over everything wheels exhaust windows and stuff so we'll mow I'd like to start that by three finish by four take a little break get the car done tonight um, no homework yet so that's awesome uh, beautiful day to work outside 5.30, welcome back. Uh, got the yard done just over an hour. It was really high on the other, that other side over there. But it looks really good now, nice and green, everything. A couple of leaves are blown around, but nothing bad. And I just went over the car with uh, this stuff, ultra clear, the clean glass and hand. So that's the stuff I use in between washes. And uh, now it looks really good. I do not have time to get to the wheels and exhaust yet, because I gotta go to the bank before six. So I'll do that when I get back, and I don't know what's going on tonight. So I am going to the bank. Talk to you in a bit. Here at the high school, they are doing an incredible job with the lawn. I think they got a new service since I was here. It looks really nice. Check that out. Bang up job. Beautiful grounds though. Before, they'd let it get about a foot high before they cut it, and then they'd make a huge mess out of it. But they're doing well so far. What are they now? Five days of school in. It looks great. Oh, bitch. Something else to do. Good news is it's cheap as hell. That actually came on a few days ago when I was parked waiting to pull out an intersection up a hill and it, it came on as soon as the car stopped and you know it was on an, an, on an incline or an angle and the fluid ran back in the tank and left the sensor area and told me. And then today when I was going around a, a tight corner like a long S-curve thing at maybe 25 miles an hour, you got the G's, all the the, uh, the fluids pushed out to the side and it came on again. So now that's fixed. It takes six liters. I just put in like two. I don't care. That is enough. I rarely use it because it makes a mess. As I said, it is now wheel and exhaust time. So I'm going to get on that in a few minutes and uh, should be done within 20 minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. Check that out. Looking awesome. All four wheels did. Oh, crap. My door is still open. I took my mat in to clean it and it needs to come back. Oh, see, that sounds terrible. Okay, well, looks nice, sounds bad. Uh, there. All right, well, today was a good day. Uh, you know, people always say when, you know, back in May when I got out of school, they're like, oh, you're going to have so much time on your hands. What are you going to do? You're, you're not going to know what to do. 
and um, all of the free time on my hands, I, I would get to the end of the day, it's like two in the morning and there's still crap I needed to do. And I'm always talking about the watch later playlist and how I had to roll it over into the next day and I'd have like 60 videos in there that I needed to watch and I, I, I religiously watch YouTube videos. And now that school has started, I hear the opposite. Um, you're not going to have enough time to do anything. You're going to get cut up. You're not going to be able to come spend time with me. Uh, bullshit. I have learned how to manage my time now. At the end of the day comes up. It's like everything's done. And I end up watching uh, The Cleveland Show or something because I don't have anything else to do. It's like, it's like I manage my time a lot better when I have more things to do. So that's something I just found about myself. Uh, anyways, car is clean. Lawn is mowed. What else is there to do? So I'm going to edit the vlog together and go to bed. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Thanks for watching.